Well, this latest round of winter weather is the last thing some counties need right now. A lot of people are still recovering from last week's ice storm and are about to get hit again. Chris Conti joins us from the newsroom. Chris, the governor is urging people to be vigilant today. He did, Vicki, and he did that walking around TEMA headquarters today. The Tennessee has technically been under a state of emergency for two weeks now, and it could remain that way until well after this next storm. We appreciate all that you all have done 24 hours a day. The weather may not have warranted an emergency response today. So, you know, it's been now really 16 days since the storm hit. But inside TEMA headquarters, they are still responding to weather of unprecedented proportions. Really, I think it's fair to say it's the worst ice storm in Tennessee in two decades. For more than two weeks, Tennessee has been under a state of emergency. Officials have been working around the clock to get power restored, open shelters for stranded residents, and coordinate first responders. You know, unlike in a tornado where the damage is concentrated in a specific area, this storm has affected whole counties with damage that spread across large areas. Hello, how are you? How are you doing? And so today, the governor made it his purpose to say thanks. Thank you, guys. Appreciate your work. Thanks. Since the ice, snow, sleet, rain, and freezing rain started falling, 30 people have died. With more winter weather on the way, Governor Haslam urged people to stay cautious. I think people are just weary of the weather, quite frankly, and they're tired of, uh, you know, of staying home. And so you, you people get in trouble when they take when they take uh, risks that they shouldn't. And so what we want to take, say is you need to act like this is the first storm. And I know you're tired of staying home and I know you're tired of doing all those things, but keep showing the same precautions that you that you've been showing. While the weather outside may not have warranted an emergency, they know here just how quickly that might change. And spring is coming, I promise. <laughs> a lot of people up on the plateau are wondering about federal assistance. The governor said more than likely some of those county counties will be getting FEMA money, but it could take some time. Live in the newsroom this evening, Chris Conti, News Channel 5 HD.